Hey guys, this is Matt with Sanguine Entertainment, and we're back again here this week to discuss some Project Zomboid. Uh, so first, I'm just going to go over the Mayday Mondoid. There's not a ton here to cover, but after I do that, I'm going to just talk about some things that maybe I would like to see added to the game, either in the form of the core game itself or a mod. So anyways, into the Mayday Mondoid. Uh, vehicles are continuing to be developed internally, and the progress towards a public test build continues as planned. Basically, what they're working towards is getting a build to release for public testing that doesn't have the obvious glaring problems like crashes or, you know, just obvious bugs that would dominate all of the feedback. And so if they get that done first before they show it to us, we obviously won't all be saying, hey, the, the game breaks immediately. That's a problem. They obviously know that. So they're fixing all that kind of stuff first before they release it to us. In addition to that, uh, MASH has been working on the new map update, although she has been pulled away somewhat to deal with um, things regarding vehicles, but the new update is still on its way and progresses forward. And we're to told that the new area doesn't contain any new urban conglomerations larger than Rosewood or Marchwit Ridge, but it does contain a few fun things to find and explore. Uh, the main things, it seems to be a more uh, wealthier area. There's the Knox Heights Country Club and Golf Course, and there's some upper income housing. And I assume that this is going to be a cool area to go whenever you want to try and loot for uh, various decorative items. And maybe with vehicles, they're going to be uh, the more high dollar sports car type of vehicles will be here. Um, I'm sure at sure the golf club, uh, there's going to be a lot of golf clubs, obviously. So uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the area looks like. and. Uh, maybe we'll get some new um, looking foliage or, you know, new uh, assets to work with <clears throat> to, to visually see. Uh, Mark, the new animation guy, he's almost completed implementing the new animation loader, which is expected to improve the vehicle stability a lot. Uh, and it also moves us one step closer to the big future update that we're all going to wait for forever. Uh, until it comes out, it will be super excited when it does, and that's NPCs. So any progress on animations is always going to be great, because that's one more thing either for modders to use, but also moves us closer to NPCs. And I'm curious how the rotational movement system is going to work, not just in terms of visuals, but how gameplay itself will change, um, and what other visual cues we might get um, that might help us uh, in that respect. But RJ, he's been tweaking, balancing, and bug fixing everything as all as always, so I'm not really going to go over any of that. If you want to do that, go to the Mondoid and read it yourself, but just a ton of little things that are being fixed. Um, and that's pretty much it for um, this update. There's not a ton, there's not like a major thing to go over. Um, so here's where I'm going to jump and kind of go into things I'd like to see in the future. And I'll be doing a few videos that are kind of in this vein of things I'd like to see in Project Zomboid, and they're going to be broken down into subtopics, and this week I'm going to focus on things I'd like to see that are related to vehicles in some way, and I'm doing that because obviously the big vehicle update's coming out, but that's going to open up a lot of possibilities. Um, so <clears throat> the main thing about vehicles is there's going to be a new thing in-game with a new control system, and so what I mean by that is it's... They're kind of like moving bags that you don't equip. It's not going to be like you equip a car on your back or your primary slot. So I would like to see some vehicles that function like bags that you mount or use rather than equip. So some examples of what that might be would be, you know, shopping carts, wagons, a dolly or hand cart or hand truck, whatever it is you call it in the region that you're from. And there's other mods that add some things like this, but they're unwieldy. They go into your primary slot or <clears throat> they do something along the lines of um, they have encumbrance issues and there's different things like that. And so I'm hoping that the new vehicle system will basically give us something that with the press of a button, you just let go of the shopping cart you're pushing and move on or smack something with your axe or shoot it or whatever it, is, whatever it is you need to do, but that you can still have a shopping cart full of whatever it is you've looted. And it'll add some more, um, you know, flavor things to add, uh, you know, because it, it's unreasonable to have an entire parking lot of a supermarket with no shopping carts in it. 
And if you're in the apocalypse and you're trying to move stuff around, you're going to use one of those shopping carts. So I'd love to see that stuff added. Um, by the way, if you can hear that outside, that's uh, there's a store by my house, so apologies for that. Um, some other things I'd like to see added are um, some vehicles that use less or no fuel, but instead have a different drawback. Because the biggest drawback of every vehicle right now is they require fuel. Um, so I would like to see... Well, first I'd like to see a source of more renewable fuel, maybe an alcohol or ethanol synthesis, maybe some sort of chemistry skill that goes with that. Um, I'm not like, sure, sure exactly how that would uh, play out in game, but uh, some other thing I think that would help increase the fuel is if you um, could siphon fuel from other cars or from the gas station without power, you know, just through like a normal little hand pump. Or if maybe we have some large fuel trucks that are broken down on the side of the road um, maybe those are sometimes in town, maybe they're not in town, and uh, that would be just a huge source of fuel, obviously, that you could gather. So that's not exactly renewable, but it gives you more to deal with and use. Um, so in addition to that, like I said, some vehicles that use less or no fuel, and the most obvious examples of what this would be would be uh, a motorcycle or a bicycle. So. You know, a motorcycle, I would think, you know, maybe it produces more noise. You're obviously not protected because there's no enclosure around you. Um, maybe you have a fast acceleration. Maybe, um, you know, it's obviously going to use less fuel. And, you know, maybe just uh, there's a different skill involved. Who knows exactly how that'll work. But I would love to see um, motorcycles and then also bicycles added. Not just bicycles for the sake of a vehicle, but... Uh, as an item used for crafting and other things and there'll be more on that on future videos uh, especially when I talk about um, electricity but I would just love it to be possible to find a bicycle and ride it around and basically get a little bit of a speed boost um, or efficiency and movement of some kind without uh, using fuel instead you're going to use the athleticism of your character and fatigue and things like that and this last one that I thought up, I think <clears throat> this may not be the best thing for the core game, but I'd love to see a mod that says this, but another vehicle that uses no fuel or less fuel or is different in some way, I thought you could add horses to the game. And what's cool about this is basically you would feed them and their fuel would be food instead of fuel. And, you know, the drawbacks of them is, you know, they can die, for one. A bicycle can't die. A horse can die. Um, horses make noises, you have to have an enclosure for them, you have to, there's a lot of stuff involved with a horse, and so it would be cool to see um, how that might play out in game, and again, I don't know if that's something that would make sense in the core game, but I mean, there is a, like a horse track, um, and there's horse stables, and so, um, and obviously there would be horses in Kentucky, um, so I don't know, I, th I think it could work, but, you know, it's definitely not a priority at this point. Um, the next thing I'd like to see is some water-based vehicles like boats and rafts. Um, and not rafts just like already there, but rafts that you can craft. And the reason I mention this is, be is because mostly, um, I mean, there's not a real whole lot of reason to traverse water. There's not a ton of water on the map as is. And there's not a lot of water cutting you off from important areas in the game. But, involved with it. Uh, it'd also be a great source of, like, fishing supplies, um, you know, just any kind of uh, loot really could be there if it was a survivor's boat. And so I would just love to see, um, you know, some some play with that and see, you know, how that works. And again, this isn't a huge priority because there's not a lot of water on the map, but it would just be interesting to see how that goes. This next one, I actually think uh, this should be implemented fairly well once... Um, vehicles are fully implemented and this is unmanned vehicles now I know at first it's like what that doesn't make sense and I want you to hear me out on this um, what I'm talking about with unmanned vehicles is remote control cars boats and you know drones like little choppers and stuff now I know this is set in the 90s and you know immediately a lot of you were like they didn't have drones in the 90s that doesn't make any sense but what did definitely exist is remote control cars and not only did they exist in the 90s, they were a very big deal in the 90s. And so they would have actually been far more common in the 90s than they are now. Because pretty much everyone had a remote control car. It was the latest, greatest thing. And I just think it would be cool if with these cars you could attach things like a walkie-talkie. 
or some kind of noise maker and you could use it to distract zombies or maybe you could attach a bomb to it so you have a little remote control car bomb or maybe um, you could attach a camera and there's some way of remote viewing while you move this little car around or whatever and the reason I say this is because currently the engineer and electricians don't have a ton of, the, of use for their skill and I just think this would be a cool, you know, more late game-ish type of thing if you could have a little scout robot, essentially. And even though drones didn't exist in the 90s, I think they should be implemented, even even if it's through a mod or something, because there's a, you know, there's sandbox settings and there's a ton of things that you can change that will not line up with 90s Kentucky. For example, you could make it rain far more often than is normal for Kentucky, or rain far less often. You can make plants more resilient or less resilient. There's a ton of things that you can do like this, and so for that reason, I think in sandbox mode, if you want to play something that's more closer to modern day, I think it would be cool if there's um, some items like that in the game. But again, I don't think the drones make sense as much in the core game as they do as a mod. But remote control cars, I think, definitely do make sense in the core game, being set in the 90s. Um, the other thing I'd like to see is some abilities that are related to vehicles. And I, I don't mean like a mechanic trait. I know that there's planning with that, with mechanics and engineers and stuff like that. What I mean is some abilities that the player has, like, to craft a car bomb. You know, I'd love to be able to rig a car to explode and be able to park that and blow it up. Either to kill a bunch of zombies or... Um, as we move into more survivors and have like different groups and some PvP or player versus survivor that are uh, not that are NPCs in the future, I'd love to be able to have a carbon be, you know, just another tool. I mean, everything else in this game can pretty much be weaponized, and I just feel like if we're gonna allow people to put, you know, bleach and soup, why not allow people to put a bomb in a car because a bomb in a car because that makes actually more sense as a method of attack. Um, not that I don't like the bleach in the soup, I think that's fantastic, I think it's hilarious, but um, crafting a car bomb would be great. Uh, siphoning fuel, which is something I already mentioned, but a lot of other people have mentioned too, and I just think that the ability to siphon fuel from cars once they're everywhere would make a ton of sense. Um, and whether it's through actually siphoning it, or if it's some sort of ability that your character develops, like through a mechanic trait where you're taking parts or looting from the car and getting raised parts because I know there's going to be you know take this one's tires take this one's alternator take this one's whatever and craft a working car from a bunch of non-working ones that's obviously going to be part of the game but yeah I would just love to see <clears throat> a way to siphon fuel and another thing is actually I'd like to see the ability to build an inclined plane or a ramp and basically what I mean by this is <clears throat> You know, you could have the option to have characters that are, that are uh, disabled in the game, actually, with a wheelchair of some kind or a hover round thing or something like that um, as a vehicle. And it would be cool if you have a ramp, but I'm not thinking necessarily on those um, grounds for, like, actually making something accessible for someone who's handicapped. I'm thinking more of along the lines of if I can build what amounts to like a parking garage to actually move a car to the second floor and that probably would require things like concrete and metalworking to build something strong enough for a car but if we're going to have motorcycles and bikes added to the game you can get that up to a second story fairly easily and they're light enough it's not going to break anything and I just think it would make a lot of sense to be able to take your bike up to the second floor via a ramp and also it would cut down on everyone just going straight for the hey uh, climb up a rope ladder because it's in previous to zombies strategy you know if you want to get your bike and have it in your place or if you want to get your car and you know having ramps and different stuff I just think it would be cool to um, you know to have that uh, as an ability and it would also open up just a ton more um, interesting things that players can build so yeah um, I want I want to know what you guys think though uh, about the progress of the game just in general but you know of all the things I mentioned here which things uh, do you think would fit most with the game and that sound the most uh, sensible or that you would want to see the most obviously I know a lot of these things work better as a mod but the purpose of this series is not just to say hey here's something for the developers and for people to discuss but also to inspire modders to say hey you know this new system will allow me to possibly make this and 
I could have a, a camera drone and that could be cool for multiplayer or whatever. Um, of all the things I mentioned that I want to see the most is I actually want to see shopping carts and the wagons and basically the vehicles that are working like bags and maybe, you know, something along the lines of a wheelie bin or trash cans that can fill up with water, like a bucket, and you can transport a lot amount of water with that, a large amount of water. Um, so yeah, I would just, uh, I'd like to see something along those lines, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you want to see the most and, uh, you know, maybe what topics you want me to cover next. I have some ideas, but I'm curious to see what you guys want to hear about and what you want to hear my opinions on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.